Hey, what's up guys? Today I wanted to do a review of the Intuos Art Graphics Tablet. Now I want to preface this video by saying I am not a graphic designer. I am not an artist. I can't draw stick figures worth a darn. And I primarily use this tablet as a photo editing tablet for Photoshop and Lightroom, and I absolutely love it. I actually bought this tablet by mistake. I had been wanting to buy the Intuos Pro, which is kind of expensive, and I had been putting off making the purchase. And if you guys noticed, the last couple of weeks, I haven't really uploaded very many videos. And the reason for that is simple. We're coming up on the end of senior portrait season. And so I've been incredibly busy trying to meet deadlines of getting people in for photo shoots and doing editing. And so I've been sitting at my computer six, eight, sometimes 10 hours a day trying to get edits done, doing frequency separations and adjustment brushes and all kinds of stuff and I finally got so frustrated the other about a week and a half ago of using a mouse that I said forget it I am going to run into Best Buy right now and I'm going to buy a tablet and when I got there they didn't have any tablets on the shelf so I asked the guy and he brought this out now I was only familiar with the pro model which is typically black and then the entry level model that Intuos or that uh, Intuos has, which is kind of a grayish color. So I thought this was the pro model and I grabbed it from the guy. I went up, I paid for it. It was only a hundred bucks. And I quickly realized that it probably wasn't what I thought it was. So when you look at the box, this is the art version. They also make a photo version, a draw version and a comic version. As far as I can tell, those four versions are all exactly the same in terms of the actual design of the tablet and the actual functionality of the tablet. The sensitivity, everything appears to be exactly the same. The only difference between the four models is the software that comes with the, um, with the tablet. This one, I believe it came with uh, Corel Draw and some other stuff. I haven't even installed it because I am just not an artist. The photo version comes with some photo editing software, but I use Lightroom and Photoshop. I don't really have a desire to learn any new software. So, uh, so as far as I could tell, this review for this tablet is exactly the same for all four different models. Now, like I said, I don't have a ton of experience with graphics tablets. So this is more of just as a photo editor or photographer who edits his own photos, talking about using this and I absolutely love it. Right out of the box, it was pretty easy to set up, uh, but you can see I'm using a MacBook Pro, which does not have a CD-ROM drive, so I had to install the software from Intuos' website, which was a breeze. And once I installed it, it started working just fine. One design feature that I kind of don't like because I do most of my editing on my MacBook Pro, you guys can see the USB plug here. I don't really like that. It kind of gets in the way. I keep my tablet off to the right as I'm editing. That way I can, you know, use my left hand for keyboard shortcuts and stuff like that. And it's kind of a pain the way that it sits. My other USB drive over here, uh, currently I have my hard drive set up on the right side of my computer. So I plug it in there and it kind of gets in the way. Um, same thing if I was to plug this in here it's just, it's in the way. I don't like it. Um, I wish that it was placed somewhere else. Um, it was kind of a little bit of a frustration uh, for the initial startup of kind of routing everything around. If you're working on a desktop, I'm sure that's not going to be an issue. But for a MacBook Pro, if you want to keep it on one side or the other, it is a little bit frustrating. I know a lot of people who use tablets, they keep them in front. I don't because I'm always using my keyboard. Anyways, just a minor thing. So once I got this thing installed and set up, the using it as far as making adjustments in like Photoshop or Lightroom, doing like adjustment brushes or making selections, removing stray hairs, I was amazed at how easy it was for me to do those things right out of the box. When the stylus, I guess this is called the stylus, is actually touching the tablet, it is very smooth and fluid. It doesn't feel weird or jerky or anything whenever you're actually using the stylus on the tablet. And so I was able to make very accurate selections. Having said that, I did have some frustration in the beginning, especially with doing things like adjustment sliders in Lightroom or making mouse clicks. I found myself kind of struggling to be accurate. When you hover the stylus over the tablet, it basically mirrors the mouse on the screen and you can see where it's gonna be. And then as you touch the tablet, that's whenever it actually, you know, clicks the button or does whatever. 
and I found myself where I would hover where I wanted it, but whenever I would actually go down to make the click, my, I guess I was moving the mouse a little bit as I was going up and down. I wasn't going straight down and I would click in places I didn't want to. I also found myself whenever I was doing things like the adjustment sliders in Lightroom, I would make the adjustment I wanted and then as I, as I would go to pick the stylus up, I would kind of drag the stylus on the tablet and it would send the slider way off one way or the other where I didn't want it to go. So it took a little bit of getting used to to actually pick the stylus straight up off of the tablet and to get to where I did that subconsciously. It probably took me a good day or two before I got to where I was pretty fluid with doing that. And I'm at a point now where not only using this for photo editing, I use this as a mouse all the time. And it took me about a week to get to the point that it was that easy that I don't even realize it. I start responding to emails and doing things and I'm using this as the mouse. Now you can see here on the stylus, there are two buttons. Uh, currently I have the button set up as a right click for the top button and the bottom button is to zoom. Uh, those are the two functions I seem to use the most and I, I use those. I, I do have a little bit of a problem with these buttons. I think part of it is the fact that I'm getting older and I'm struggling a little bit with the dexterity in my hands. Yes, getting old sucks. And so I have a little bit of a problem with these buttons. If I hold the stylus to where the button is under my finger whenever I'm working, um, I find myself accidentally pushing the buttons more often than I would like. I am getting better at it as time goes on, but I do find myself doing that. If I keep the buttons off to the side of my fingers, whenever I wanna quickly push a button, I find myself struggling a little bit to actually find the buttons. I don't know if anybody else will have that problem. I think just part of it is that I'm just getting old and I'm losing those fine motor skills, but I am getting better. After a week and a half of heavy use of this, I am getting a little bit better about it. One of the other things about this is that on here, you have some hotkeys that are also customizable. You can set them up however you want on the tablet. I don't personally use these at this point. I don't really know why I haven't set them up to use them. I think just because I'm so used to using keyboard shortcuts and a mouse that I just forget they're there and I haven't set them up to use them, but it is pretty cool to be able to use. This tablet is also a touchpad, so you can use it just like a touchpad, that, like the touchpad on my laptop. I, I don't I don't really use that function very much. And to be honest with you, I actually need to see if I can figure out a way to disable it. One of the problems that I also have with it, um, I tend to rest my hand on the tablet whenever I'm working. It just kind of feels natural to me. And when you're hovering the, the stylus above the tablet, it I guess it disables the touchpad uh, because it doesn't seem to really affect it that my hand is there. But I do find myself, if I raise the pin up, off of the tablet as I'm working and let's say I'm typing with my left hand or whatever the case may be, sometimes it will pick up clicks from my hand resting on the tablet and it will do some weird things. I've had some weird stuff pop up in Photoshop as I'm hitting, you know, quick keys and stuff and or shortcut keys and some weird stuff will pop up and it seems to be that because my hand is touching the tablet that it's activating clicks and stuff. Not a big deal, it's just happened a couple of times. If you keep the stylus close to the surface, it seems to disable the touchpad function and it's not an issue. But I catch myself resting my hand like this sometimes and that happens. Now you also have the ability with this to set up the tablet, the active area on the tablet to whatever region you want. Uh, by default, it's the whole tablet. I don't like using the whole tablet for the simple fact that I'm lazy. I don't like to pick my hand up when I work and move it all the way across to mirror the screen. So I only have the bottom quarter of the tablet actually active. And I like that because I can go all the way from one end of the screen to the other just by moving my wrist. Uh, it's the same thing with my mouse. I keep my mouse set on the highest sensitivity because I don't like to pick my hand up when I work. Um, and that's just the way that I like it set up. And for that reason, this is the small tablet. I don't really see any point for photo editors to go with the medium or the large tablet because I just, personally, I wouldn't want to pick my hand up to make selections all the way across the tablet. I mean, I guess you can get more precise control, maybe for artists. I know some graphic designers have said that the larger tablets are more designed towards them. 
But for me, this small tablet is more than enough. To be honest with you, if it was half the size, it would be perfectly fine with me because I'm only using a quarter of the surface anyways. So overall, for only $100, I am extremely happy with this thing. I know that the Pro version is more sensitive. It gives you more sensitivity points, I think it is. I forget what the term is. This one's like 1,024 pressure points or sensitivity points versus the Pro. Uh, is like 2056 but I, I like this it's also pressure sensitive so the harder I push like in Photoshop the thicker the brush will be stuff like that um, the more expensive pro version might be more accurate in doing that I do notice that whenever I push harder I do kind of struggle to get the brush size exactly the size I want either it's too small or too big so I end up just making an adjustment to the brush size by using the keyboard shortcuts. And to me, that's actually easier. The pro version might be more accurate in that. There is also sensitivity settings in the software that comes with this to where you can adjust the pressure sensitivity. Maybe I need to go in there and fumble with those. But overall, I am just incredibly happy with this. This was only a $100 purchase and it has made my editing go so much easier, so much less frustrating whenever I'm doing uh, things like acne removal and making selections. For example, uh, we did a photo shoot the other day where we brought in 200 football players to photograph them. And when you do those kind of shoots, it's just boom, boom, boom. You're going as fast as you can. I didn't notice that a car had pulled in and I was catching the front bumper of the car in the corner of the frame because we were going so fast. I didn't catch it for like four or five shots. Rather than call the kids back and reshoot it, you know, I just figured I'll remove it in Photoshop. And it was just so easy to make the selection using this and use Content Aware Fill. It was way easier than using a mouse. So I am extremely happy with this purchase. I really recommend this. You know, whether you get the art, the draw, the comic, or the photo, really I think just depends on what software package you want to come with it. And if you don't care, just get the one that comes right off the shelf. So. I hope that helps you guys out. If you guys have any questions about this tablet or anything else, leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.